first tell me your name. Uh, my name is Nathan Denhollander. I'm a sergeant with 2 RCR Battle Group out of Gagetown. Okay. okay, and um, just in a nutshell, can you tell people what this um, display is about that what, may not know? What this is is a uh, artist rendition of their version of peace or, or what it, they feel soldiers are thinking about while they're overseas. So the helmets represent what's going on in their head and the canvas depicts what the artists feel. So we have ones that have landscapes of uh, Alberta, Canada and, and different provinces and different sites. Some are just landscapes of uh, fall. Other ones are butterflies and poppy seeds. So it's a, it's a rendition of what the artists interpret the soldiers are thinking about while they're overseas serving their country and doing their job. The object is to raise money for uh, soldiers' families and uh, wounded soldiers' programs to help soldiers when they return from uh, Afghanistan. It's specific to Afghanistan? Uh, n not specific. It's, it's uh, I might be talking about a term when I say it's not specific. I'm not one of the organizers or uh, in, in the loop on the specifics of everything. The program is to raise money for soldiers and their soldiers' families uh, that are serving Canada. Now, what are people saying to you as they come by and have a look at it? Some are saying uh, that they hope that we are not meant to wear the canvases because they are very bright and vibrant. And I agree with them. Hopefully we're not supposed to wear them because they are very beautiful and, and bright and vibrant. And others are very taken aback by the artwork. They're just very, very breathtaking and uh, very detailed. Can you uh, possibly just tell me a little story about one of them? Well, we have uh, one here. I can actually hold up the biography of it in the uh, piece with Ferdinand the Bull. We have one which has got a depiction of Ferdinand the Bull, which was the gentle bull who didn't fight or, or make a big ruckus until he was actually stung by a bee. And it's a uh, Disney cartoon as well, it was many children's books. So that is on the front of it, and in the background we have the, uh, the skyline which has peace on it. And if you go around the back of the helmet, it depicts different scenes from across the country, the prairies, the Rockies, the water, and, and all the way back to the Maritimes. And what's the reaction been? The reaction's been very, very good, very positive. People come up, ask how they make a donation to the organization and the fund. And we have our, our papers here for them to fill out and leave their donations, and we hand those in at the end of the day. A lot of people have come in and just looked and, and asked questions about how we're doing. We have some soldiers here who have actually come back from Afghanistan recently, and, and they talk to them and ask them how they're doing and what's, what's what, and just different questions, but very welcoming for us to be here. Um, it's certainly a different take on, on a, a way to recognize veterans and honor veterans leading up to Remembrance Day. It is. It is very different. And this is similar to the one that was held, I believe, last year in Ontario, which raised about, I believe, $2.5 million, roughly. Yes. Uh, it was quite quite the gala event. For this organization, or this year's take, is going to be done in Fredericton. There's going to be the auction and everything, I believe, on the 28th. And it's supposed to be... Hopefully just good. And this is the Maritimes coming together to support the soldiers and see what they can fund. And the Maritimes being many separate provinces are still, when you call them the Maritimes, brings everybody together so you have more of a sense of family and community with it that way. Contracting.